This video will focus upon absorption spectra, the type of spectra typically seen from stars. Here we see an objective prism image of a star field. A thin prism has been placed in front of the telescope, spreading out the wavelengths of light coming from stars. This simple animation allows us to simulate a telescope and spectrometer apparatus with a light bulb and a cloud of gas in space and observe the three types of spectra. When the telescope is pointed directly at the hot light bulb filament, a dense solid, a continuous spectrum is observed. All wavelengths, colors of light are observed. When the telescope looks at the light bulb filament through the cool cloud of gas, certain wavelengths from the filament are absorbed and randomly re-emitted in other directions. Thus the telescope sees an absorption spectrum, where some of the colors of light are missing. This is the type of spectra we see from stars. All wavelengths of light are emitted by the dense interior of the star, but some wavelengths are absorbed by the low-density outer regions. If we look directly at the light coming from the cloud, we see the colors that were absorbed being emitted. This is an emission spectrum. A few colors of light are present. We observe this around the sun when the surface is obscured, as occurs in a solar eclipse. Let's explore this with demonstration equipment, both visually and graphing spectra on the computer screen. We have a simple light bulb with a dense filament, and we spread out its light using a diffraction grating when looking at it and use the camera to capture what the eye would see. We can also capture the light through an optical fiber and feed it to a spectrometer connected to a computer. And then graph the data on the monitor and see a bumpy continuous spectrum. This video will make use of the substance didymium, which is incorporated in a glass which we can place in our apparatus's optical path. Didymium is a mixture of the elements praseodymium and neodymium, the 59th and 60th elements of the periodic table. It typically has a light violet tinge to it. It is widely used in safety glasses for blacksmithing and welding, and especially glass blowing, as it provides filtering that blocks the yellowish light at 589 nanometers emitted by the sodium in the glass. Note that didymium glasses allow enough light to pass through that they don't have a detrimental effect on general vision. You can see what you are working on. We now add our didymium slide to the apparatus, sliding it in between the diffraction grating and the source. Think about the effect that the didymium will have and make a prediction. What type of spectrum do you think will be seen now? Classroom students should follow normal procedures or instructor guidelines. Viewers not in a classroom should record your vote and explain your reasoning on a piece of paper. Please pause this video and answer the question. We now look at the spectrum again with the camera and the didymium inserted in the path. Note that there are substantial parts of the spectrum that have been replaced by dark bands. The didymium is absorbing and re-emitting those wavelengths in other directions than toward the camera. We see an absorption spectrum. This is even more apparent on the computer as we can see the missing yellow light in the spectrum graph. Here is our original continuous spectrum, and here is the absorption spectrum created by the didymium. More teaching materials can be found on the web at astro.unl.edu.